Hello and welcome to Arts and Crafts with Steve McDonald. Today I'm going to be painting some alcohol ink flowers on a branch. Now I have no idea what colour this branch is as I am colour blind but that, I don't let that stop me. I still enjoy it and I just want to have some fun. So what I'm doing is I've mixed up some colours with um, alcohol inks and some alcohol and I'm using a pipette to apply it but you could use a brush or um, anything that you've got because I'm now going through it with a brush to spread it out a little bit and to give it a bit more texture and it moves quite nicely on UPO paper I've now got a um, ink pen or um, a watercolour pen that I filled with 99% alcohol and as you can see I'm running it through the uh, branch because I want to give it some texture, I want to give it some shading and um, so it looks more than just two dimensional, so it's quite three dimensional and that, I really like that um, effect that it gives and if you can hear a rattling in the background that is my little dog who has just decided to pick up a stone and play it with, our, with it on our hard wooden floors while I record this, bless a little heart. I'll put a picture up here of her uh, uh, playing. So if you want to have a click on that link, you can see them playing out in the garden. So I've done some um, little offshoot branches and I don't want them all looking as if they're coming from the front. I want to give them a bit of depth. So this is what I'm doing here. I'm spreading out the bases of these branches and some of them I'm making it look like um, they're coming from the uh, back of the branch as well. If anyone thinks that I've done this the wrong colour or could, would suggest what colour this is, I'd be really grateful in the comments. Uh, I find that quite useful. And you can tell me what colour a branch should be because I have real no idea. So there we go, I've nearly finished those. Just giving them a few more little tweaks a few more highlights um, and as it's drying off a little bit I'm um, giving it a bit more texture. Now I do clean the, the brush end of this up every now and again on the piece of paper that I've got underneath the UPO paper here so um, to, to be able to allow the alcohol to do its stuff. So I'm using my airbrush again that was only £28 uh, the link will be uh, above where I talk about that. It's a great little airbrush and uh, I'm just really free-forming. I haven't pre-sketched them on or how big I want them or where I want them to spread out. I'm just really free-forming them here. So I've put down some neat colour and now I'm um, spreading that out with 99% uh, alcohol on top of that neat colour. As you can see, I am wearing gloves because um, it took about a week for me to get the Baja Blue off my hands and uh, the staining off my nails uh, a, a couple of weeks ago when I did a Baja Blue picture. So now I always ensure I wear gloves um, because then it doesn't um, stain your skin and if you're sensitive to the alcohol, it won't irritate you. I also wear a, a respirator as well if I haven't got the doors open to my studio just because you, you don't want to be breathing in all that alcohol um, fumes. It can't be good for you. And I've just obviously decided to go quite large on this flower, larger than I think I should have done. But actually, when I put the next ones on, it will go over them. So it will look as if there's some um, perspective to them. And um, so one's in front of the other or, or vice versa. So that one's finished. So uh, now I'm, obviously I've chosen a color that I know doesn't blend with that previous color. So it doesn't make a like a muddy or a gooey colour. Once again, I'm using the same technique of um, pushing that ink out into tendrils using the airbrush. I use pinata inks, alcohol inks, and I really like the inks, but I'm not that keen on the bottles uh, because they do tend to. Um, drop out quite a large drop of um, alcohol ink and I don't know if anybody else has found this but sometimes when you're dropping something on it it'll drop a second drop on it 
um, and they're quite large drops it's harder to control so I'm going to start decanting the um, pinata rings into um, needle point bottles as well so they've got like a little needle on them a very thin hole I have real trouble getting the chili pepper red out of the bottle completely so anyway so I finished the Baja blue one and this one is uh, some bright yellow I know that color once again using the same technique but I'm trying to push it around slightly different angle as well and this is going to be a very multicolored picture it was literally just for fun it's on a piece of A3 UPO paper so it's quite a large picture and I decided I didn't want a background on this either because I wanted the it's off white it's not really a white I wouldn't say the UPO paper I wanted this um, off white background as, as as the negative space I love doing this I I really enjoy I get a great deal of pleasure from just dropping ink down and blowing it around rather than being um, really fine with it and trying to do some real um, serious painting with the al alcohol inks to me they don't work well I, I don't work well with them for fine painting fine art but I still have a great deal of fun with them and time goes by very very quickly and I realize that I've been in my studio for several hours when I when I'm working with these And the great thing about the airbrush is if you don't like the shape of the flower, you can just drop a bit somewhere else or drop a bit of alcohol and soften it off, make it a little bit more wispy and change the whole shape of the flower. And the best way to learn how to do this is just literally try. And I'm sure that you could do them with a can of air or a straw um, if you don't have an airbrush. But like I said, this cost £28 from Amazon, so it was a real steal. Not sure what colour that is. And and in real life, I, I don't think you would get a plant or tree that had all these different colours on. Um, and certainly not growing probably from this type of branch. But that's what it's not about. It's not about that. It's just about having the fun and um, feeling the freedom of the of the paints and uh, enjoying the picture afterwards as well. And it's amazing how much different a picture will look if it's framed. If you have a nice frame around it, um, you know, and put it on the wall. Again, that's quite a large flower. I think I got carried away with that one. But it doesn't matter. I've obviously gone back to this one here because I felt it needed softening up a little bit and balancing out more. And there are people, I've seen quite a few people now who do some very intricate and very detailed flowers with alcohol ink. And they're lovely and, you know, but it's, it's what you want to do, it's how you want to enjoy it. Never let anyone dictate to you what your art should be. So I've gone in here with a little bit of white. Uh, I was hoping it was going to blend in with uh, whatever colour I'd got already on the page to make a very pale um, bloom but it kind of didn't work so I've gone back in it with some alcohol and now I'm pushing the ink that was from that large bloom there I've done into that white so it will be a similar sort of colour um, but it will still uh, be quite effective with that white there. And there we go, that's the um, picture, really, how I wanted it. I could have carried on working with it, and but that was it. That's it, what it looks like dry. So thank you for watching. Please leave a comment. Please hit that like button and subscribe. Um, thank you very much. Bye.